In the year 2024, the CDCR has never been as dangerous as it is today. The California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, or CDCR, is currently in a state of unprecedented chaos. The recent decision by Governor Newsom and CDCR Secretary Jeff McCumber to empty out death row has stirred up a storm of controversy and concern. This move saw the release of all condemned inmates to the main lines, a decision that has far-reaching implications for the safety and stability of the state's prison system. Among these inmates is a man who stands out for his notoriety and the fear he instills in both the incarcerated and the free world alike. His name, Ronnie Ayala. Born and raised in San Diego, California, Ayala's life took a turn that led him down a dark path. His journey from the streets of California to the confines of San Quentin State Prison and now to Sentinella State Prison in Imperial, California is a tale of crime, power and the harsh realities of gang life. Ronnie Ayala is no ordinary inmate. He's a high-ranking member of the Mexican Mafia, one of the most feared and powerful prison gangs in the United States. His cunning, ruthlessness and strategic mind propelled him through the ranks of this violent organization. His name is synonymous with drug trafficking, extortion and murder. His influence extends far beyond the prison walls, reaching into neighborhoods and communities across California and beyond. But Ayala's story doesn't end with his criminal activities. Even behind bars, his influence and power persist. The prison system has become another arena where Ayala asserts his dominance, maintaining control over the gang's operations and instilling fear among his rivals. So as we delve into the current state of the CDCR and the ripple effects of the release of death row inmates, it's important to bear in mind the figures who are now in the main lines. Individuals like Ronnie Ayala, who despite their incarceration continue to wield a dangerous amount of power and influence. Our focus today is none other than Ronnie Ayala, a notorious figure from the Mexican Mafia. Born into a community riddled with crime and violence, Ronnie Ayala's journey to infamy was a path paved by circumstance. California, his birthplace, was a battleground of gang affiliations and street violence. His early years were marred by exposure to crime and the lack of positive role models in his neighborhood became the catalyst for his descent into the underworld. The socioeconomic struggles of his community were a breeding ground for lawlessness. And it was in this harsh environment that Ayala found his calling. The Mexican Mafia, or La Emi, a notorious prison gang, became his family. Starting with small tasks, Ayala's strategic mind and ruthless demeanor propelled him through the ranks, earning him respect and power. His loyalty to the gang's code became his armor, protecting him from the chaos of his surroundings. But Ayala was not just another face in the crowd, he was destined for a darker path. Within the walls of the Mexican Mafia, Ayala found not just a gang, but a twisted version of a family. Ronnie Ayala, a name synonymous with fear and respect within the underworld, began his journey in the Mexican Mafia, or La Im, performing seemingly insignificant tasks. But it was his cunning, his ruthiness, and his ability to navigate the complexities of gang operations that set him apart. In an organization where power is the ultimate currency, Ayala quickly gained wealth. His strategic mind, his unwavering loyalty to the gang's code, and his ability to handle complex operations earned him a position of authority and influence. But his rise was not just about power, it was about survival, about navigating a world where one wrong move could cost you your life. In the Mexican Mafia, Ayala found a home, a sense of belonging that he had never experienced before. But this home was built on a foundation of crime and violence. As he climbed the ranks, Ayala found himself orchestrating numerous criminal activities, drug trafficking, extortion, murder. No act was too brutal or too cruel if it helped to maintain the gang's dominance and extend its reach. Ayala's reputation grew not just within the Mexican Mafia, but also within the larger criminal underworld. His name became associated with fear and respect, a testament to his ruthless nature and his willingness to do whatever it took to assert the gang's dominance. His violent acts served not just to instill fear among rivals and the general populace, but also to ensure the loyalty and obedience of his fellow gang members. But his rise in the Mexican Mafia came at a heavy price. With power came enemies, with influence came danger. Every move, every decision was a gamble, a high-stakes game where the prize was survival and the penalty was death. 
Ayala's story is not just about his rise within the Mexican Mafia, it's about the choices he made, the sacrifices he endured, and the life he led within the walls of one of the most notorious prison gangs in the United States. His ruthless nature and strategic mind helped Ayala climb the ladder of the Mexican Mafia, but at a heavy price. As the saying goes, every action has a consequence, and Ayala was no exception. Ronnie Ayala's reign of terror eventually caught the attention of law enforcement agencies. Recognizing the threat posed by Ayala and the Mexican Mafia, they prioritized dismantling their operations. His arrest marked the beginning of a new chapter, one that would see him swap his throne on the streets for a cell in San Quentin State Prison. Ayala was put on trial, charged with a slew of crimes, including drug trafficking, conspiracy and murder. His trial was a spectacle, a media circus that laid bare the extent of the Mexican Mafia's criminal network and the horrors it inflicted under Ayala's leadership. The courtroom became a stage where the public bore witness to the dark underbelly of the gang world. Convicted and sentenced to a lengthy prison term, Ayala found himself facing the grim reality of life on death row. Yet the walls of San Quentin did little to dampen his influence. The prison system became a new arena for Ayala to exert his power, another battlefield where he continued to orchestrate activities and maintain control over the gang's operations. Even as Governor Newsom and CDCR Secretary Jeff McCumber emptied out death row, releasing all condemned inmates to the main lines, Ayala's influence remained undiminished. He was transferred to Sentinel Estate Prison in Imperial, California, but the change in scenery changed little else. Ayala continued to be a pivotal figure within the Mexican Mafia, his cunning mind and ruthless nature just as potent behind bars as they were on the streets. Life in prison for Ayala was not an end, but a continuation of his reign, albeit within a different set of walls. His story serves as a chilling reminder of the enduring power of organized crime and the individuals who rise to the top. Even behind bars, Ayala's influence remained significant, a testament to his powerful persona. As we delve into the legacy of Ronnie Ayala in our next scene, we'll explore the impact of his life and crimes on gang culture and the communities he once terrorized. Ronnie Ayala's life is a stark reminder of the profound impact of gang culture on communities. His journey from a youth in a crime-ridden neighborhood to a feared figure in the Mexican Mafia paints a grim picture of how socio-economic struggles can push individuals down a path of violence and crime. Ayala's rise to power within the gang and his subsequent arrest shed light on the intricate operations of such organizations and their far-reaching influence extending well beyond prison walls. His story is not just about one man's life of crime, but a symbol of the cycle of violence that holds many communities in its grip. The legacy of Ronnie Ayala also serves as a reminder of the challenges faced by law enforcement and the criminal justice system in combating deeply entrenched gang culture. Ayala's story underscores the need for comprehensive strategies to tackle gang violence, a challenge that remains as relevant today as it was when Ayala first walked the path of crime.